Hi, I'm Kelly. I'm Rich. And we are Wonder Bus Adventures. A lot of you have been saying that we have a lot of windows in the bus, which is true. But um, they're causing a bit of a problem with our layout, aren't they? Yeah, we basically need to make sure we black some of them out and cover some of them over. That's what we're going to be doing today. Um, so let us know what you think. Come along for the journey. Thanks, guys. So this area here is going to be where the kitchen terminates um, and this area will have basically the bunk above it and some cupboards underneath. So what we're going to do is make sure this window is well sealed up and we're going to actually insulate over it. On our bus we have these plywood window sills I guess you could think them as um, and at the moment they stick out about one and a half centimetres um, underneath. And the reason for this would have been, you know, the walls would have just come up to here, which is fine. On the other side, we can keep it like that. But on this side, we're going to want to carry the plywood up, which is going to be a lot thinner than one and a half centimetres, all the way up to up there on here. So I need to cut the lip of this off. The kitchen area, we also need to raise the height of the walls. We're going to go for sort of a standard 90 centimetre to the top of our countertop. Um, and then we're going to have a small sort of upstand sort of splash back of about 15, 20 centimetres. So what that will mean need is to bring the wall up to about here. So what I'm also going to do is tape off and paint the lower portion of the window leaving this section like a little picture window underneath and this section and this window like you know completely as they are for the time being so we've still got a little bit of a view along here we've got a decision to make along here because when we come to this part along we don't have much use for a splashback so what i might do is just bring it down to countertop height along here which would be about 90 centimeters along so we've got a slightly bigger window here, which would be nice for when we sat over on our sofa. We can kind of see out if anyone comes and knocks on our door or whatever. But this stuff's like a major head scratcher though. You spend a lot of your time thinking about what it is you're gonna be doing and it can be frustrating to be honest. So um, this is why it comes across that we're going quite slowly because we really try to consider absolutely everything we do. And then even then it might not be the, the best way because it's the first time we've done it, um, which is why we value all of your comments and feedback and why we ask sort of like a week in advance sometimes for uh, advice. So please do keep that coming. I've made a mess, but it did work. So what I've done, my recip saw along here and I have caught the insulation here, so I'll need to retake. Um, so we've got a nice flat edge all along here now and it'll be in line with the insulation I'm going to put up here. So all I need to do now is do the same all the way along and then what we will have is a nice tapered edge sort of up and around for the ply line in to follow once we've got obviously it insulated up to this level. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do next. gone all the way along this side now on this side where the bathroom's going to go i'm actually only going to cut along to where the second window ends for the time being um because we think the front two windows are going to be the same height that they are if they're not i will just do that in the future but you know i can't put it back once i've cut it so i'm going to run that along there now then we'll tidy up in here and then we'll be ready to clean and paint the windows Can you hear it? Yeah, scorch marks. Yeah. We're just cleaning it um, before we pan and wipe it because we want to, to mask and paint this, but you know, we want as little marks on that. We don't see them from the outside as possible. Hence the cleaning and also the paint won't adhere as well. I'm taking the top window out. This bit took a little bit of time and we made provision for the splashback to stand at about 110 centimetres. 
so we have about 20 centimeter splash back and then at the end we did decide to make sure that, that runs in at about the same height as the countertop okay so we've got it all masked up now i'm going to give it a paint so what we've got here is roughly 30 centimeters well it is exactly 30 centimeters that side we've got 10 and this side we're going to do the entire window pane because the grand majority of it's going to be completely covered over um or the backsplash for the sink so absolutely doesn't matter if we cover that all over and we're going to insulate it too so for the windows i use a 2k product from buzzweld so you pull the pin mix it up and then begin spraying I applied three coats of this, given 20 minute flash time between each coat. And then what I did do was leave it to dry overnight so it could go rock hard. I did get a couple of chips when I took the masking tape off the next day. So I'd recommend that you take the masking tape off as soon as you're done really. Just being really careful not to smudge the paint. Excuse the mask marks, when you're spraying this stuff it's nasty. So. Uh, well ventilated and wear a mask is my advice well, that's what i like to do anyway so yeah i'm at the stage now where i've got a coat of it on it looks good already um, i'm just going to give it the 15 minutes flash time and give it another coat um and then we'll have a good look at it but at the moment i'm like in the nervous stage of what, is this the right decision but i think it is and this is why we're doing it so here we'll have our kitchen cabinet a little larder that will come to about here and we can run a five mil bead along. So you won't see that from the outside and it will just look like a window. We'll make a really nice trim to go on the inside. Likewise here, our kitchen will come to again about here and we wanted a splash back, which will run up to there and we'll have a little picture window. And this one here is the most drastic of all. We've completely blacked that one out, um, but we want the opening window at the top on this side will be just clear glass so we can see out when we're doing our washing up um, and also let some light in but with plenty of privacy but as you can see I mean the windows on the outside are very dirty so apologies for that but it gives the effect of a completely blacked out window um, which we're why we did it so yeah it looks really good it would look better granted if the windows were clean on the outside so when we do that we'll show you Kelly's got a stinking cold, yeah, so, so it looked rough, sorry. Um, so yeah, we've done, we've painted out here now. So Kel helped me mask it up. And then the, they went inside obviously because it stinks. Yeah. So we've got all this sorted now and we're ready basically to put the window back in. I put that window back in. I used an interesting method. I'll just put yeah. it on screen now. It's Kelly, dangerous. Kelly was, was like, a bit worried about it, but. I was like, what are you doing? It works and the window works now. So it's fine, I've got away with it. Um, but don't do it, don't do that at home, okay? Just don't do that at home. So the next step is we're gonna tomorrow seal up around here because we can, you know, you can't see it anymore. So we're just gonna seal even more just because we can. Um, and then we're gonna batten and insulate this bit. So that's what we're gonna do next. And yeah, yeah. Pretty, I'm pretty pleased with it. It doesn't look like we've done a, a great deal today, but... It's all the prep. Yeah, we're pretty pleased with how that's gone. You know, I've had to take a window out, put a window back in, and we've painted all this stuff. So tomorrow, on Sunday... And you've also got your second jab. I've got my second jab tomorrow morning. Yeah. We'll see you in a few seconds to do the battening. Magic. And this is dried overnight now. Um, we've sealed up the windows, like, pretty well. We've sealed the outside, we've sealed the inside. Um, and I am going to run another bead along in a minute, just along this bottom part. And we're going to leave the bottom trough open, so any condensation or any water that might still get in can still run out, because we've got drain holes on this. Masking came off pretty cleanly, but as I said, do it when it's wet. So we're just gearing up to, we're going to insulate over the back. We're going to use the 25mm stuff that we used. Where did we use 25mm stuff before? I think we did, didn't we? But we're not using it yet. No. Yes, yeah, we've got 50, 50, 50 everywhere, haven't we? So yeah. we use 25 mil to go over the glass and then that's going to allow us to batten over them as well. 
to be able to ply like that. So we're going to do the two back ones first because we know they're completely sealed and the paint's dry. Just going to cut it to a rectangle first and then, you know, cut the angle down. Not yet. That's my cheese. No, it isn't. Do you want it? Do you want it? Cheesy. So just get, we're using our new pocket hole jig. I'm still getting used to it, but it's got a, a built-in depth gauge on it, and it seems quite good. And it wasn't all that expensive, actually. The version we had didn't come with a clamp. But you've got your own clamp, that's fine. What it allows you to do. Yeah, not <laughs> okay. Make these little pocket hole screws. So cool, let me do it then. Do, 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 do. Holes on the end that the screws can pass through. And then they go in at an angle. And they go in at an angle, yeah, so we've got a recess. So we're going to do both of these pieces of wood for here and just mark them up on there and then screw them through. <laughs> so we've got something to hold our plywood onto. I've got a little monkey poking me with some pretend <laughs> cheese. <laughs> it's very warm today, but quite rainy. rainy. Yeah, these are in now. I'm just literally going to use this, particularly this top one to screw the plywood into, yeah, basically. Yeah. And uh, that's insulated now. We'll obviously be forward taping over this and doing our vapor wire over the whole thing. But that one's in now, we just need to replicate it over here. Yeah, do you know? <laughs> so grab hold of it okay. and then bend it okay. towards you. Yes. Ooh. Good job. The then what we do, Daddy will take care to get his sharp knife. Whoa. Just disappear. There it is. And just cut it down. Yeah. Can I have one? What do you think about this insulation? No, don't You don't have to be busy with your full tape. You don't need that. So that's um, the insulation cut for the two smaller closed off windows. And we've done the two back ones, as you can see. So they're covered over now. Um, we think we're gonna put some more battens around it to almost create a frame. So we can screw our walls into that. And then the next job really is to cut the big piece for the big window over here. And then when the paint arrives, finish the bathroom area as well. So it's a bit later in the week, so I think it's Thursday evening, I don't even know. Um, I've been working today, I'm pretty tired, but I want to get this window um, painted up on the bottom, so tomorrow we can insulate over it, um, and of course take this top window out. I'm gonna paint half of that window, and we're gonna frost the other side with some special frosting paint that I bought, so yeah, I'll show you that in a minute. It's already 22 degrees this morning, so I'm just come out to open the bus. I'm gonna hook up the Max Air as well to a battery. Probably best that we check that that thing works. glasses out it's all cleaned but just to be triply sure I'm gonna wipe it over with some of this and then let it dry and then we're going to use this frosted glass spray that I've got 
um, to frost the glass. So this just needs a few light coats according to the directions. And we should have a nice even frosted look to the glass then. So, you know, opaque, but with a bit of privacy. after a single coat so it's starting to go hazy you can find it difficult to see those bits of writing just gonna do a second coat see how that comes out just gotta wait 20 minutes in the shade because it's warm today i am currently on aluminum for tape duty again and that's fan on which has connected it to the battery because it's very hot and it stings a pain in here i've got a tape all around here So I've done this one side, it's taken me about 15 minutes I think. Maybe. Don't worry, I've got you another roll of that. Cool, we've got that as well, but yeah, we're gonna need it I think. It's a birthday present. Yeah, can't wait. It's my favourite thing. I especially love how it like blinds you in the eye as you're using it, that's my most favourite thing about it. Blinding in the eye is your favourite. Exactly, someone could say that. I am just finishing repairing the tape, like this is... Rich cut this off, he like wrecked up some of this. And Rich is, I think, spraying windows. <laughs> we are making the little beans, would you say they're called? I don't know. Batten? Batten, yes. Batten to go across the window insulation so that when we put the plywood in, we will have battens yeah. to screw into because otherwise you'd be screwing into the glass. And we don't want that. We definitely don't want that. So we've also made note of how thick the wood is so that this, we know what size so crystal. 25 millimetres and then we've got 25 mil insulation behind it. And what we're gonna do is put another one down here, a button, and then we're gonna put another piece of insulation in the middle, just because we can. So it'll be tasty delicious or full delicious, yeah. This is just a random piece of end of wood and nearly fits, doesn't it, perfectly? So like just half a centimetre too big, it's like perfect coin. I've had to put Rich's hair up because it's got so long and he was getting so, yeah. it's so hot. Yeah, it's still pretty thick to me, but it, I actually found a lot cooler with it up. So. I told you you would. It looks cute. He's got to hopefully get his hair cut soon. But yeah, it's going in here. Jig, just put one in each of these so I've, I've put it along the center instead of two because this is only 50 mil wide um i did test it on a scrap piece first like i said earlier we've got you've got like a way of measuring it on here but it's not it's a bit imperfect so i've done it on a bit of scrap first and i know now that this is good like to go and set up on this 25 mil stuff um so really it should have this in there Hold it. I'm going to put a screw through there now, I'm going to use the self-tapping metal ones and then pop it in the box. What we've got here is the top portion of the frame for our window. So this is going to go all the way along and this bit goes in front of the opening window at the top. We've had to use different diameter woods um, because, believe it or not, the window tapers in at the top so obviously the window doesn't but the aperture does that surrounds it so we've done this and then this will make the front face we're applying against a much more gradual gradient almost flat um, we're hoping so when we cut the ply to come in and around here it should look pretty seamless there'll still be a slight bend to it patterns are in now um, I think we are going to batten down the each edge as well but first of all we want to make sure that we've done this side so before we can do that i'm just going to pop the frosted glass back in makes it sound simple doesn't it it's not it's a right pain in the bottom but i'm going to put that back in and we can see then um 
the, what insulation we need to, to install over here because this side's going to be slightly different we are going to make sure that the window opens on this side so, and the bathroom's going to be obviously bigger so yeah i'm just going to go pop that back in okay so they're back in so yeah pretty pleased with that pretty pleased um so i'm just going to repeat the steps that i've done on this side put in the insulation on this side i've got a few measurements to take Bob Drunkle. Windows back in. We made a little bit of a faux pipe. We did think this through actually, and we thought um, we should paint a portion of this non opening window black because you'll see what's behind it. But then, for whatever reason, when we were in the midst of doing it, we didn't do that. So, what I'm going to do, thankfully, this just pops out this piece of glass because I've not sealed it in yet, which is good news. Um, I'm going to pop, just measure that up to the inside where it needs to go and then pop it out. And I'm going to mask it with the thinnest piece of masking tape in the world um, and paint the portion black that we need to. Now what I think will happen is I think the masking tape will pull off and the frosted paint that's on there. I hope it doesn't but I think it will. If that happens what we will do is once the window's back in I will get uh, something black, a piece of rubber or even a piece of metal, basically adhere that on the outside to make it look like it's another window, basically to cover the edge between the frosted side and the black side. But I'm going to do that now um, and I'll show you the result. And actually it turned out really well, so we're really pleased with um, how this has turned out nice and opaque, you can't see in and out unless the window's open, which is exactly what we wanted. And it doesn't look strange outside either, does it? No. Which we'll show you now. Yeah, it looks really good. So we've built up all of the walls now with our insulation. We're ready to move on with the next step. Um, next week, we are going to be starting running some cables. So first steps of electrics. Hope to see you then. Thanks so much for watching. Um, please give us a big like, and as always, we'd love to hear from you down in the comments. Now we're gonna go in the back garden, have some ice on these, and Lily's gonna play in the paddling pool. Have a great week, guys. Thanks for watching. One, two, three. Bye! Bye.